So if there's one four-letter word out there that offends pretty much nobody, it's the word free. And in this video, I just want to demonstrate the new template kits, which are part of Envato Elements. These are completely free, full page and module designs that you can use in any way you want in your projects. So let's just jump over to WordPress, install this plugin and take a look at how we can start using those free templates. So the first thing you need to do is just simply go and grab this plugin, install it into WordPress, follow the on-screen options to get your account activated just by popping your email address in, and we are then good to go. So I've already gone ahead and done that, so I'm going to jump over to the dashboard, and if we come over to the left-hand side, you can see we now have a new section called Elements. If we click and open that up, that'll take us through to the browser that allows us to take a look at the template kits and also choose the kind of page builder that we're using. So you can see we've got Elementor and we've got Beaver Builder and there's also photos and more. It's also worthwhile keeping an eye on the updates option on the right hand side because it'll give you access to all the new things that are kind of being added to the Envato Elements template kits. So that's always a good place to see what's new. You can see everything is broken down into various different categories by design. We've got creative design, education, non-profit, technology and so on. So if we select any of these industries, what will happen is it'll filter it down and only show us the template kits that fit into that particular grouping. If we take a look then underneath you can see everything is grouped together underneath that relevant different heading. So schools, church, childcare and so on. And we can scroll across and see all the different options, all the different widgets, the designs and so on available to us. All the different templates. So you can see if we take our mouse over any of these templates we've got a little scrolling preview so we can see exactly what it looks like. Now, if we'd like to see any of these in more detail, we can simply click on it and it'll open up a larger preview window, which we can then simply scroll through with our mouse wheel or the little scroll bar on the right hand side. So as you can see, these are fully fledged pages all grouped together in different kind of sets. So we've got home, home one pro, home two. If we scroll over, we've got things then like contact, staff, school life, depend upon the kind of criteria that we've got or the category we've got. So we've got a great starting point. So that's the full page templates. We've also got different blocks. So we come to Elementor. You can see we've got template kits, which is what we're looking at at the moment. If we click on blocks, that'll now filter it out and only show us the blocks in much the same way as Elementor Pro itself does. So you can see we can come in and we say we can browse by type. So we've all got the things like hero, sub hero, and so on. So let's just say we're looking at a pricing menu. We can click on there. That will now filter it out and show us only the blocks that are in the pricing menu grouping. So very, very cool. So we can click on there and again, we get a larger preview of it. We can then import this pro template if we want to into Elementor Pro. So we can jump back out and we can say, let's go back to the template kits and let's just go and choose a template and take a look. So let's just say we'll go for the creative and design. Once that loads those in, let's scroll down. You can see you've got art gallery. We've got jewelry maker, web agency, and so on. So let's just find something that looks good. Let's go with this creative agency at the bottom. So I like the look of some of these. Let's just take a look at the home page. So that looks pretty good. Now, if we kind of settled on that one as being the one we want to work with, we have two very simple ways of working. We can either import this directly into the My Template section of Elementor Pro and use it any way we want, which is pretty cool. Or we can come in and we can actually give the page a name and it'll create the page with this template applied to it and save it as a draft inside WordPress itself. So depending on how you want to work, you can use it either way. For this example, let's just say to start off with, we'll just let it create a page. So we'll just call this creative home page. If I could spell today, there we go. So creative home page, let's put a capital C at the beginning. And we'll say create new page. That'll take a couple of seconds now to download all the assets. It'll then create the page and pop up a little message to say that's now been created and we're ready to go. So there we go. This is page has been created with this template creative home page. So let's just say we have now gone through and we set that up. And we're happy with that. We can simply close out of this, come back out. And if we go back into our posts and pages section, you can see we go to pages and go to all pages. We'll find that our new page has been created. So there's our creative home page draft Elementor. So we can see that's been created for us. So we can now come in and say edit with Elementor. That'll load up Elementor and load in the template and we can now start refining that to make sure it fits exactly what we want and sits in the design that we like. So you can see everything is in place, the entire page, all the different elements are created for us. We can now simply go through and make any changes we want. So for example, if we want to change the look of this particular heading section, we want a different image on there, come to style, 
choose a different image you can see all the assets have been downloaded to our account so let's just choose something else let's try this one that looks pretty good we insert that and you can see now that updates come in and click and change the content on there we can do everything you'd normally expect inside a template once you've assigned that so that's the first way we can work with it so let's just jump back into the Envato elements plugin and take a look now how we can assign this to be associated with the my template section of Elementor so we've already gone ahead and jump back into the Envato elements template kits plugin so this time we're gonna say we're gonna use this particular design which is the about page so I'm gonna say import the template so that's going to go through and again download all the assets to our WordPress install and then we're going to go through and we'll have that set up. So you can see now that's been associated with the My Templates. We can come in and choose Edit Template directly from here. So we click on that, that'll open up a new tab and take us in so we can start editing that template as, as a page as normal. So you can see there's everything back to where it should be. All those different elements are in place so we can start editing. But let's come back out of this. And let's just go to exit to our dashboard and we're going to create a new page so let's just come back out and come to our pages and say add new and we're just going to say creative about so we know what this is going to be about so we'll just say we'll publish that page and then we'll just jump into edit with elemental once we've done that we can go into our templates and we can see that template will now be there available for us to start working so let's come into our templates and uh, if we go to the My Template section, once it loads in, you can see there's all the different ones that I've created, but we've now got Creative Agency About One, which is the one we just associated. So we'll say Insert That. We'll say Yes, we'll insert all the different options and override the settings and so on. And there we go. There's the page downloaded, installed, and set up with everything in exactly the same place as it was, ready for us to start working. But now it's become available to us, so we can go back at any point into our templates, open that back up, come to my templates, and we can assign that again to any kind of page we want. So if we wanted to use this as a starting point for various different pages, we can just save it like this, call it back up, any page we create, and just use the my templates in it, and just activate that template and assign it to the page. So it's very, very easy. So this final example, I'll come back into the template kits, but this time we're gonna take a look at the blocks. So let's just come into the blocks option. Let's go and take a look at something we think is going to be pretty good. So let's just say we want to use a hero image. We want to create something for the top of our page. We'll find one we like. So this looks pretty good. I like that. Click on there. You see now we only have the option to import the template because obviously this can't be used to create an entire page. So if we click on import template, it'll do the same. It'll download those assets. It will then gives the ability to go in and access that through the my templates option. So you can see we've got edit template if we want to, but let's just bypass that. Let's come back to our pages come back in and we're going to go back to the page we just created which I didn't save so we want to find the option which is the creative about so we're going to click to edit with Elementor on there let that load in and we now have a completely blank page to work with so in the same way as we did with the other template we're going to click on to add a template we'll jump over to my templates We'll click on creation date so we can quickly filter this and you can see there's our hero inline image created today We'll insert that and say yes, we're happy with that. And you'll find that there is our newly inserted template direct from the Envato Elements Template Kits plugin and just choosing one of the blocks. So now we can go ahead, make any edits we want to that and we can start working. And there we go. That's the Envato Elements Template Kits. A ton of really good looking starting point, both blocks and full page designs you can use with Elementor or Beaver Builder if you use that as your page builder, completely free. So what do you think of this? Do you think this is a good resource? Do you think the designs are good and something you could see yourself using in the future? Let me know in the comment section below just to give me your feedback on what you think of this plugin. As always, my name has been Paul C. This has been WP Tats. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But don't forget to let me know in the comment section below why you didn't enjoy the video. As always, if you'd like to support the channel, please consider using those affiliate links in the description below. It costs you no more money, but it gives a support percentage back to the channel and helps us create more great content for you. Well, until next time, take care.